Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Elements of Success. I'm your host, Talha Jarad. Well, we are talking about success. We are talking about the most exciting topic, really. And we are talking about how to build a successful personality, uh, to build internally the elements and the components of success so we can achieve the maximum that we could achieve in this life and the maximum that we could achieve in the hereafter. Now, we talked before that um, success has certain components, and we spoke about one of the uh, components before, which was universal laws and understanding the universal laws, and we also introduced the emotional intelligence. We said we need to know uh, more about ourselves and be more intelligent about our emotions, our, about our feelings, and how to deal with it. The more we understand ourselves, the more we understand our emotions, the more we become aware of our emotions and how to deal with it, the better we can be, and the uh, higher ability of us to achieve more and more in life. Now, we, we also mentioned before that there are certain negative emotions that might impact your entire life. By the way, Sometimes a person has all the elements of success, but by just not paying attention to one feeling, one emotion, that emotion might drag this person down and make him uh, goes in circles and circles round and round and round and never gets out of it. So it's very important to understand the negative emotions and how to break this vicious cycle and get out of it uh, to be able to handle ourselves better. Today we're going to talk about anger. Now, anger is one of the, probably the worst emotions that a person might have, is short temper, anger. Now, anger is really what uh, uh, brings the person down. It's what holds the person from achieving. It's really what causes the person to uh, uh, drag down and not able to fly and roam high in the sky. Anger causes the person to really be imprisoned in this feeling so he cannot achieve and understanding how to deal with anger is one of the critical things that we need to know because this anger really is an ultimate expression of all negative emotions all negative emotions that you might have are expressed eventually by anger and it reaches to a point where the angry person will will uh, will not be able to have any resistance left in himself so he get angry quickly and it becomes a habit so he he's quickly responding to the things that happen and becoming angry and angry and angry now anger has a lot of uh, impacts on the person it has uh, impacts on your relationship you might lose a lot of people a lot of closed ones a lot of even beloved ones because of your anger short, short temper um, if the person, uh, you know, nobody likes to be uh, screamed at, nobody likes to be treated badly. So the person who's angry really doesn't control himself and he just throws words, probably do certain things that harm other people, whether emotionally or physically, and hence he loses his relationship with people. He loses uh, the respect of people he, and, and people try to avoid him because they don't want to deal with him. It's, it's very difficult for them to deal with, with the angry person. It's, it's, it's very distressful to deal with the angry person. And even if people have to deal with the angry person, they, they, are, always the, uh, they are always tense. They are always uh, careful. They, they are on their toes. They, they cannot really expect what happens out of this person because he does unexpected things. Because the angry person never has a control of himself. Also, anger has severe problems in your body. Anger really has probably um, the worst impact on your body. Anger makes you lose your uh, uh, ability to resist. It, anger makes your immune system weak, make you susceptible to uh, all kinds of uh, uh, sicknesses. Because uh, when you're angry, um, you, you know, your eyes become red, uh, uh, blood rushes to your heart, circulates um, in your body in a certain way, and that causes you to be uh, to be very um, tense, to be to cause your body to shake, to shave, uh, to shiver, and and th that causes you uh, to 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 react in a certain way physically, which impacts your your not only the physical ability but also your mental ability, and it causes. Uh, blood pressure, it causes anxiety, it causes uh, sometimes uh, even uh, people become paralyzed, 
can become paralyzed really uh, at a, a certain rage of, of, of anger. They, you know, just they lose it and because of uh, certain issues that happen in their body, uh, their nervous system completely collapses and they become paralyzed. So is it worth it really? Have you looked at yourself when you're angry? Or imagined yourself when you're angry? I mean, when you get angry, just think of this. How do I look like? How, how my face looks like? How my body looks like? How my eyes look like? Do you like you know, people to see you this way? Do you like to see yourself in the mirror this way? Do you, like, do you like yourself when you're angry and you look at the mirror and you see yourself angry and tense and uh, you know, shivering and screaming and you know, your, your blood is rushing all over your, your body and, and uh, your eyes are red and your blood pressure is high. Do you like to, yourself, to see yourself this way? Of course not. So understanding these concepts about anger and anger management and how to deal with our short temper is very important and very critical for us to be able to succeed because anger as i said drags you down pulls you back and drain your energy uh, makes you lose a lot of cycles in life unnecessarily makes you um, waste time effort energy you might spend lots of time to build a relationship and you can lose it in a split of a second just because of anger and then that of course causes you to be more anxious more upset because now you you lost something and you become more angry about yourself and then that ends in, in okay, well, I'm, I've lost this, I caused this to myself, I caused this harm to this person, then you become more upset about yourself and you go in this vicious cycle of, of uh, or what, what we call the downward spiral of emotions and you, you, you drag yourself down, you drain your energy, you drain your mental ability and hence you will not achieve, you will not succeed. Remember, we're talking about success. So to be able to achieve, you have to take away from your way the things that cause you uh, to lose time, effort, energy, or things that blocks you from leaping to success the right way. And anger is, as I said, one of the most dangerous, one of the most dangerous emotions that you deal with or, or uh, you might uh, encounter. Now remember, we are talking about coherent system here. We said before that we have the law of control. And we said in the law of control, remember this is a universal law, so it, it applies all the time. And it is uh, a law that governs uh, this, this universe. The law of control says that you are in control of your life. You are in control of your destiny. You are in control of your life. And hence, you are, control, you are in control, as a matter of fact, in full control of your emotions, your feelings, your thoughts, your whatever happens in your life, you are in full control of it. Now, this is very important. If I am in control of my emotions, then I can control myself to be angry or not to be angry. Now, when something happens... It really depends how you interpret this thing to yourself, how you explain it to yourself. This is what makes you angry. It's actually not the situation. Uh, let me give you an example. Let's say a friend of you, a very close friend of you, uh, jokes with you and he says a certain word. And because you like him and he's close to you, you take it easily. You know, you accept it and you probably laugh at it and, you know, it becomes something easy and you move on. But if the same exact word came from another person, that you perceive as, you know, envying you, you, you perceive as he hates you, you perceive whatever, and this, he says exactly the same word, you become extremely angry, and you might lose it, and you might start to, you know, get ready to fight, and why? It's not actually the word, it's not the situation. It is how you explained it to yourself. It is how you interpret it in your mind. Well, if you interpret it that this person is insulting me, this person is trying to uh, probably uh, cause me harm by, by this thing that he said or did, then of course you're going to become, become angry and you're going to lose it. So it's very important to understand. They say, uh, actually, um, uh, there, is, there is a very interesting concept that the, the, um, the researchers in, in psychology talk about, which is the stimulus and response. Well, a stimulus, anything that causes you uh, to, to move in, in emotions, that moves your emotions somehow, it's a stimulus. We human beings, we get stimulated by incidents that happen. But that's not an excuse for you what you do. Your response is your responsibility. Your response is your responsibility. And this is exactly the meaning of this word. Response 
ability. You have to have the ability to control your responses. And you are, as we said, by, by the law of control, you are in control of yourself. You are in control of your feelings. You are in control of your emotions. You have to think of this when you get in a situation and you start to probably lose it. Think, I'm in control. I'm responsible. I can do different things nowadays. I cannot, well, I can change. It's, it's not the old me. I, now, I choose not to respond. Just think of this. If something happens, just choose not to respond to it. Explain it to you differently. Change your mindset around it. And look at it differently, and you will see that, oh, that's different. And now you are in control, you are in charge. Remember we said, you control your thought. Now, if you control your thought, then I can, yeah, I can take my, my mind off the situation and think of something different. And if you do this, that will take you away from the incident and make you more and more focused on a different thing, which, as we said before, that will impact your feeling. So if you think of a positive thought when somebody says something to you and you, you just think about it differently rather than dwelling on it, rather than thinking of it, like allowing the negative emotion to take a cycle in your mind, you just, you just leave it and think about something different. You see... Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that, he said in Quran, uh, about uh, the most pious people, the, uh, which, which he called, subhanahu wa ta'ala, he called them uh, the, the servants of, of, uh, of Allah. He mentioned one of their characteristics is that, is when they pass, when somebody tells them something bad, they just say peace, they don't reply, they just take it easy. Why? It's not out of weakness, it's out of decision. That they don't want to get involved in these little things. They are bigger. They, they think differently. They want to succeed, they want to achieve. Those people have a different focus in their mind, so they don't want to get drained and dragged on little things that might uh, impact their achievement and success in life. Remember, anger is the ultimate expression of negative emotions. Anger is really what causes the person to drag and, and uh, fall behind rather than move forward. And if we learn how to deal with anger, probably that's going to save a lot of issues and problems on a personal level and also in a, in a community level. Can you imagine if people learn how to deal with their emotions and, and control their anger and, uh, and uh, try to uh, change their behavior towards it? A lot of things will change. Anger is really one of the worst things that you could deal with and one of the most difficult, but you can do it and you can change it, change your response uh, towards, towards the things that happen to you and then you can achieve the maximum you, can, you, can, you want to achieve by controlling your anger. We will continue discussing this topic, so stay tuned and we will continue further, inshallah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.